Here's a real quick way to determine if a stock is too expensive versus if it's too cheap. Now this is Microsoft and what you want to do is you want to go to the previous low and the previous high. And then you want to break that up into five segments. Uh, obviously at the bottom, uh, you know, pretend this is just eggs. This is not even Microsoft. And, and the eggs are selling for um, $2.13 right but previously they were selling for three dollars and forty nine cents right so obviously when it's selling at two dollars and thirteen cents um, that's when you really want to buy it right but if it was selling at three dollars and forty nine cents you're like hmm I don't know uh, maybe I'll just wait a little bit to see if price comes back down or maybe I'll just buy one dozen eggs versus when it's at two thirteen and it's on sale you're saying oh I better get two dozen eggs at this price right so uh, now let's go back to Microsoft at the low which occurred in October of last year price came down to roughly 220 and at the previous high which was back when uh, helicopter money was just about to end uh, price was trading at about 350 so as price was moving up this year um, I broke this chart into fives and I said at the t at the recent highs uh, it was gonna be very expensive and um, down at the bottom this was a golden opportunity to buy um, to go to go long right so why did price sell off you can see this on the monthly chart you see this inverted um, hammer candle so you had price uh, went straight up and then we didn't have any more buyers the sellers kicked in right well one thing is that well price was expensive right previously at these levels price sold off alright so fundamentally let's go to the article from bar chart before we continue with the analysis and I'm gonna tell you exactly where you can buy this article again is coming from bar chart this is how to play the pullback in Microsoft um, stock shares of Microsoft have gained 34 percent year-to-date now Microsoft is part of the, this new Magnificent 7 which includes you know the FANG stocks um, you know Tesla uh, and now NVIDIA however a sudden uptick in macro concerns including high profile downgrades from Fitch and Moody's alongside soft economic data out of China has applied pressure to nearly all of the stock market's recent gains and momentum leaders in this case Microsoft has means the stock is now down 12% from its 52 week high of 366 set less than four weeks ago on July 18th so it's now a good time to pick up shares of this non fang tech giant at a relatively bargain um, so this is where some of the fundamentals come into play Microsoft reported revenues of 56 billion in fiscal Q4 of 2023 an increase of 8% year over year while adjusted net income surged 20% two dollars and sixty nine cents per share Microsoft beat revenue and earnings estimates of fifty five point four billion and two dollars and fifty five cents per share respectively but investors eyed the company's slowing cloud service uh, sales in recent quarters now Microsoft intelligent cloud vertical sales rose twenty six percent year over year in Q4 but top line growth has decelerated in the past few quarters due to lower enterprise spending amid a challenging macro environment now in the cloud space it's it's uh, Google um, it's uh, AWS and then it's Microsoft and we've seen since the helicopter money was taken away many businesses were cutting back um, although cloud is the macro theme of the last say 10 to 15 years um, you know when economic conditions get a little tough everyone pulls back the cloud computing business has been a critical growth driver for Microsoft in the past decade during the earnings call management confirmed Microsoft cloud revenue surpassed 110 billion in annual sales rising 24 27 percent year over year more broadly industry estimates suggest the cloud computing market could expand to 2.4 trillion by 2030 providing Microsoft enough upside to drive its top line results higher over time um, now Microsoft has stayed relevant for uh, you know several decades so we gotta give it credit and they took a chance maybe they saw the future um, like NVIDIA did 
and they invested in open chat gpt and that was the whole theme for 2023 as it seems one long tailwind of for microsoft stock will be ai microsoft was an early mover in ai via its multi-billion dollar investment in chat gpt open ai further a research report from Mortar Intelligence suggests the cloud-based AI market to touch $207 billion in 2028, up from $51 billion in 2023, indicating annual growth rates of 32%. Not bad. Looking ahead, Microsoft is expected to report accelerating revenue growth in each of the next three years. Moreover, while the AI megatrend is still in its infancy, it can potentially allow Microsoft to generate billions of dollars in sales by 2023. And we can kind of see this, uh, you know, their early investment in OpenChat GPT um, is going head to head with Google's BARD and, uh, you know, they're getting some traction. All right, so now back to the charts and we're going to zoom down to uh, the lower time frames, in particular the weekly and the daily. Now again, you get back into this um, 265 to 300, you know, prices will be um, selling at fair value. Right? Anything above that is expensive. You can see why it's selling off, right? It got very expensive. And then again, you can see why uh, price came down, stopped, and moved higher as price was very, very cheap. Typically, what happens in on Wall Street and us as retail investors, Wall Street always has somewhat of a long-term. Um, uh, telescope and they will usually buy low and sell high what do retail investors do they won't buy low they'll say oh price is crashing price is crashing and as price turns it goes up oh price is moving up without me let me get in and they FOMO but who's on the other side of that trade it's the smart money in Wall Street so as price was crashing we're selling to the smart money because they want to buy they're looking at their chops and then when price moves up higher, they're selling, oh, okay, I need to take some off the table as my gains are up, you know, uh, 50%. So we buy at the highs, they sell at the highs. We sell at the lows, they buy at the lows. It's a zero-sum game. There's a winner and there's a loser. Nevertheless, Let's go down to the weekly chart. All right, now when price was moving up, um, here's that infamous W pattern. We did have some support resistance at 275. I had a target at 310. Now, back in April, we had some consolidation, and this was on earnings. We had a breakout to the downside only to come into this resistance support band before price shot up. Again, my initial target was 310. Price went as high as 360. Now here's the level that I'm looking at. Although it's in an expensive region, you see this rally, two basin candles and a rally out. That is the level. Now, I caution you Because price could not close above the most recent highs, that lowers the probability of this level working out. Just so it just to caution you. I love the price structure. You have a rally higher, two basin candles a rally up, but we could not take out the most recent highs that established in November of twenty twenty one. So I would not blindly take this level. Um, I would like to see somewhat of a rounding pattern on a smaller time frame. All right. The other thing we note uh, the volume. See this candle here? That was huge volume. This volume here, um, it's about average. So that's another indicator to say, mm, you know, you need confirmation in this case. All right. Let's go down to the daily chart. Now, when I go to the daily chart, I'm not in love with the price structure. You had a lot of trading in this area. You didn't really have an explosive move higher. Um, and that was indication by the volume that we saw on the weekly chart. So, again, price structure looks awesome on the 
weekly but when you scroll down to the daily um, it's not ideal um, that's why you need a confirmation um, before taking this trade now this tr level is just above the three hundred dollar level I'm gonna put a red line here you know now I can see price moving down actually breaching this zone here to get to that 300 round hole psychological number before bouncing higher but as long as the broader market sell-off continues um, you know that's something else that you have to factor in if and when price could declines into the zone um, you know don't be quick to go long you know wait for some confirmation from various data points um, however like the chart said going long Microsoft is a play for this decade and potentially you can get it for roughly 20% 15% cheaper in the coming weeks thanks for watching subscribe please like the video